time we met, so you know, she's kind of like lucky that I'm a nice person. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I brought a guest today too. Patricia's a consultant that works with me in Newark, and oh, okay, she's a superstar. Oh, hi. Hey. Tell you for a moment. Patricia started her business in uh, February. February. First, she came to our team meeting in uh, January. She wanted to check us out, which I totally understand. And we passed her, you know. Level so she joined us and I'm really excited because Patricia's on her way to earning a trip in her very first year of business. Oh, girl. Um, so <laughs> let's, let's bless her. She is going yes. to get to. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and she's got two little girls, so her thing was to you know to do it, make some money, have fun, and all that. And she did, and she's had some rocking months, and it's nice because it's her choice. Mm -hmm. She's like this month, I'm gonna must leave some work, and next month we're going on vacation, so not so much. So. Yeah. You Thank you. I've loved being here. <laughs> <laughs> so, is there anybody here for their very first Pamper Chef party ever? I mentioned you've never gone. You've never, okay. This is the fun step. It's basically a party. So, this is not a lecture. Don't worry about, you know, it's a party. You can play. Um, I'm Diane, and I've been with the Pamper Chef for 19 years. Wow. Um, wow. I started when I was 10. Oh, okay. then, um, <laughs> I believe But, yeah. But I started because, do any of you guys have that apple peel or quarter slicer thing? I used to have it. I don't know what So th when I saw that thing, I thought, oh, I have to do it. Because I do enjoy baking. I don't do it a lot because then I eat it all. But I thought, oh, that would be so easy. My grandma had an apple tree. So finally I get invited to a party, and I'm like, you know, I think I just want to do this. And I was working full time. But I thought, this will be fun to play and get more products. And I was married, so I had a real job, right? And then I had Pamper Chef for fun on the side. Mm -hmm. And then you fast forward, and after a few years, I'm like, I think I could leave the real job and do just Pamper Chef. Wow. So it took me some guts. I mean, I was scared to do it, but I did. My grandma's like, you're crazy. I'm like, no, I'm fucking okay. And then you fast forward some more, and life happens. I got a divorce. So the good news is I got to keep the house. Um, but I kept the house payment, too. And luckily, I had built this into a full-time income. So, you know, uh, Patricia's doing it right now for extra income and part-time or full-time, depending on what she chooses. I'm doing it to pay my mortgage. And the reason I share that with you is I have no idea what's going on in your life. If you could use an extra 100 bucks a month, 100 bucks a week, or a whole lot more, watch what I do. Um, I like to joke around and say, if you can cook and talk at the same time, because we all do it, you could do what I do. So watch. What did you say? I said we're multitaskers. We're yes, women. we do. Do one thing at a time, please. Mm, I can knit a sweater and drive it. And find a stick on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is there anybody else here that's with another um, direct sales company right now? No? Okay. Direct sales. Okay. I like to ask. Do you do something? I used to do the SFBI. Oh, good uh -oh. stuff. My sister did it for a while, too. Good stuff. Yeah. Good deals, too. Yeah. The reason I ask is this is what we do as women. we got to tell the world. So if anybody else had a direct sales company, I want everybody to know hey, she does the or, you know, that's good stuff, too. I know you're not doing it. We got um, two more guests. Okay, good. Okay. Come on in. Join them. Uh, have them grab catalogs. They can sit here because I can okay. have a catalog. Pack it. Somebody can sit here. So, you guys have a catalog in an order form. Those are yours to keep. Okay? Feel free to turn over that order form and make notes if you want. This is, you know, just keep it easy. What's going to happen is I'm going to take your order form and type it into my laptop and then give that back to you. So, I want you all to think about holiday ideas. What is it, like 79 or 80 days? I'm sorry to bring it up, and it's hard to realize. But yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, does anybody here like free stuff? Me too. Okay, free is my favorite price. So there's a couple ways you're going to get free stuff. And at the end, you're going to have to remind me because I will forget. But in the meantime, I've got tickets here. And um, we're going to give away tickets as this party goes on. Now here's how you get a ticket. And then and they go into a drawing for something fun. So first off, if you if I'm using a product and you have it, love it, I want you to tell me, have it, love it. Okay, you're going to get a ticket. Only the first person that says it gets it, not all 25 of you. Yeah. Uh, if we have it? If you, yeah, I know. Oh, okay. So, oh. you can be faster first. Oh, yeah. Okay, and then... I'm not going to be your competition. So, if there's a product that you don't have yet, but you want it, go ahead and say, want it, love it. I'll give you a ticket. I'm actually really generous with tickets, so it's all about having fun. And then at the end... Now, this morning on the Facebook uh, invite, I posted that if you share on a post that you're going to Erica's Pamper Chef party, I'm going to start you off with some tickets. Did anybody do that? Mm -hmm. What happened? You all ignored me. I, I, I seen it. You okay. shared it on your page. Yeah, yeah, I don't have one. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the reason to do it, I'll tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can get yes, you can't oh, right now. Right 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 here is why. If you share on Facebook that I'm at Erica's party, does anybody need anything? You never know how.
how many outside orders she's going to get right now as we start okay. this party. Oh, cool. it's, it's crazy. Okay, so you know what? I said five tickets. One, two, three, four, five. Somebody else? Okay. Here you go. So I'm going to start cooking. Um, remind me to take more about free stuff. Oh, so you know I'm going to give away some free stuff here. Uh, Erica gets a whole bunch of free stuff because she is the host. And she's beautiful. She, and she's gorgeous. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it just for being gorgeous. That's easy, huh? <laughs> so I have something for you that I know <laughs> wasn't around. <laughs> okay. When you're a consultant. So I'm going to start you off with your free stuff. And this is something that I have in love. And it's a set of our small flexible cutting mats. Oh, the rain of the right hat. I get that? You get that. That's for oh, you. Oh, yeah. I wanted to order these. See, now you have to because you have idea. I'm going to be using them. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's these cool. are great. But the nice thing about these, these have a little sticky mm -hmm. side on the back. So, so they don't slide. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. So yeah. Also, I like it. I wanted these. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. 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 Now, um, there's also a bigger set. But I like to use the little ones. I've got a table full of stuff. Now, let's see what else. Free stuff. Okay, so you're getting free stuff. You guys all have an opportunity to get some free. I'll tell you later. And then as consultants, we get free stuff too all the time. In fact, this month, we're just as little as two or three shows in. They're giving us the um, garlic and brie baker and five different spices because we got this really yummy dip to do with that with some cheese. And, yeah, it's a new one. Oh, where's your catalog? Okay, good. You'll see it. It's in there. So free stuff is good. Capuchin is all about free. Now, I need a uh, ticket master, and since you don't have a catalog in your hand, first off, I'm going to give you two tickets. You mind being my ticket master? Sure. Okay, these are yours, so you're going to put your name on. Now, every time somebody says, have it, love it, or uh, have it, want it, love it, want it, something like that, or anything close, you give them a ticket, okay? Now, don't get excited because it says liquor on the front. I'm not giving away liquor. They were just the cheap tickets at the dollar uh, store. No. I know. <laughs> it's over. Forget it. Love me to live. I'm also thank you, Erica. Love me to live. I'll take another. Oh, times. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I know most of you have been around Pepper Chef products. What I want to find out is what's something you have at home that you use all the time? What time? Scissors. Scissors? What do you like to use them for? Everything. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> Scissors are great. Food wise. Chicken. Chicken. Yeah, cutting chicken, herbs, all that stuff. You should use a ticket. Pigeon shares. Pigeon shares, yes. Stoneware. 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 Oh, Why do you love your stoneware? Um, because it like the way that it gets everything crispy and cooks it well. It cooks evenly, yeah. We talk about stoneware a lot. Measuring cups. Measuring cups. Measuring cups? Which one do you like we'll the most? Right? Really yeah, yeah. yeah. Same. I don't have the big ones. Easier. Okay. And I have the pink ones from the breast cancer. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she gets a ticket here. She gets a ticket here. Yep. Okay. Oh, anyway. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> batter bowls. So the batter bowl just got a facelift. Oh, did it? Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's I it. broke mine. I need another one. So here it is. But now, the good thing about this one is that now they can stack. So you can put the other one right inside oh. and they'll store a little easier. Oh. Okay. So, yeah, we have a facelift. She gets a ticket. Now, did anybody come today with something specific they wanted to get for themselves? Oh, I'm going to get the, um, the thing that is the salad spinner. Oh, salad spinner. Okay. And what you see is baby brother that's our uh, animal. <laughs> 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 Who else can just raise their hand? The sand token. The sand token knife. Do you have temperature yeah. knives already? No, not. Really. Oh, you're going to be so oh, happy. Oh, I think I have one that you used to have a case that it went into. I want that one with the case because we go camping. It is totally safe. Nobody gets hurt. Yeah. Yes. Now I don't know one has that. So let me let me address that because she brought something yeah. big up and I'm going to talk. Oh, I'm going to just do my knives right now. So we used to have a knife that was in a case, right? Um, and what we've done is we've gone away away from the case and made it actually easier. Oh, I didn't put my um, pony tool out here. So let me tell you how this works. So. The Pamper Chef has two sets of knives, okay? They're like amazing. Yeah, great knives. Now, these, you know, everything with Pamper Chef has a warranty, okay? If you look in the catalog, you see a little circle next to every item that tells you the warranty. So it's either going to be like a number one, meaning one year, five, meaning five years, L, meaning lifetime, and so on. So I've got two similar size knives. This is the, it's not similar, I wanted this one. So the one in the case, I'm sorry to interrupt. The one in the case, is that one a lifetime? 
No, that one was either a two or three year. Okay, <laughs> oh, great. Okay, I was going to say, I needed to be shopping. <laughs> yeah. So what we've done <laughs> is we've kind of streamlined it so you don't have to have that case for every knife because you're kind of limited with that. Those cases would only help sharpen knives that fit in there. So now, does anybody find the knives in your, in your catalog yet? Yeah. Yeah. What page? Uh, 26. Okay. Check out page 26. There's something in there called a honing tool. And you can use that on all your knives, whether they're from Pamela oh, Sheffer or not. 27. Oh, the 27, oh, thank you. <laughs> so we thought oh, one yeah. honing tool that fits everything rather than having to have that case that only fits certain knives. Will it sharpen my Yes, it will. Now, but here's the thing. Okay, we got two grades. This is our forged cutlery with a lifetime warranty. No, 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 no. It's a little more expensive, but you're getting a better product, okay? A better material in the place. This one is our color-coded knife. And the reason for this is it's, it's a trend. Color-coded knives are been popular and around for a while. Now, the difference is these are a lot lighter in weight, okay? These are heavier in weight. Yeah, we're going to show them around. We're going to pass both around, see? Now, with your green color-coded knives, those have a one-year warranty. And the way they're made is there's a big sheet of metal, they stamp them out of the metal, they sharpen the edge, put them in the coating, and the coating helps food not stick to them as much, but some stuff still sticks. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, a one-year warranty, great investment. Uh, now, the other ones, the forged cutlery, okay, that's the higher grade uh, metal. On this one, they actually form the knife. It's called the forged process. So they've got like hot metal that's liquid, pour it in to form the knife, sharpen the edge, and it's a higher quality of metal, uh, more uh, uh, technique in making it. The blade goes all the way through the handle. So lifetime warranty versus one year warranty. Really what it goes up to is which one is more comfortable in your hand mm -hmm. and what you can afford. Because they're both great knives. It just depends on which one is better for your application. So for the camping knives, I'd probably go with your color coded knives. In my kitchen, I have a whole other set of the forage cutlery that never leave the house. These ones go on the road, and there's another set that don't leave. <laughs> now, the honing tool, I mentioned that to you. So that has in it, okay, you see the, the chefs and they sharpen their knives with the steel? Okay, when you're doing that, if you don't have it, mm, let me hold this just to give you an idea. Mm -hmm. If this was a knife tip, if you don't have it exactly at a 20 degree angle, and you go too far, then you're actually dulling your knife. Okay, so you've got to know what you're doing when you use that. What's nice is that pony tool, the I'm sorry, pony tool that we have, it's got two little ceramic pony blades in there at that 20 degree angle. So when you pull your knife through, it's exactly right. And just takes about four or five swipes through. You might want to do it weekly, you might want to do it monthly. It just depends on how you feel they need. And if you go home and look at your knife straight on like this, you might notice that it's not real straight. You might notice some little curve, I mean it's not gonna be wavy like this, but you're gonna notice they're not quite as straight anymore. And run it through that honing tool, and it puts it back in alignment. I call that the chiropractor for your knives. Okay. Now, sharpening is different. This is honing, putting them in alignment. Sharpening is different because when you sharpen, you're actually removing some blade. Now, to get your knife sharpened, um, some of the uh, butchers at your grocery stores will do it for free. I know what I was going to say. Sometimes I'll do it for yeah. say, please help yeah. me. I'll buy we give you guys a lot, you know, be nice. But some stores, thank you so much, some stores will do it for free for you anyway. Um, I'm in Pleasanton, and there's a, our farmer's market. There's a guy that comes, and he's got his stone, and he'll do it for you. So I go drop my knives off there. Seriously, like maybe once every one to two years. It's not that often. Because you don't want to remove blade all the time, or else pretty soon your knife will be shorter and shorter, which I remember my grandma had this one big knife that everybody used. And over time, I didn't understand, but it kind of was formed like this. But at one time, you know, it was big. So don't sharpen often because you're your blade. Now let me tell you another little story about your knives. Um, you do not want to put your dirty knives dropped in the sink. That's really for safety more than anything else because then somebody puts something over, you've got a sharp knife, the hand goes in, and it's not pretty. Um, so when you're using your knives and it's time to wash them, you don't go in the dishwasher. Now does that confuse anybody? You're thinking it's just washing the knife, why can't I put in the dishwasher? Um, what's going on is there's chemicals in your soaps and in your water so if they stay on the blade, they're going to ruin the metal over time. Oh. Kind of like, you know, um, copper, you put something on it, it patinas it, it changes it. Same thing with your knives, okay? So some of those chemicals in our waters and our detergents are going to, it's going to uh, lose the integrity and the strength over time. So just hand wash them soapy water, dry it off, put it back in its sheath, and they're safe. And they're loud. So also, these sheets with the forged one, they open. So if somebody ever puts your knife away dirty, 
you can clean this out. But then you want to go take this thing and slap them upside the head so you don't do that again. Yeah. <laughs> they won't. Um, another thing about your knives, another knife safety tip I want to tell you, is you want to use a knife appropriate for what you're cutting. So the bigger the food, the bigger the knife. So this is not safe with watermelon. This is not safe with little green onions. So a lot of us, I grew up with that one knife that Grandma had, but for safety's sake, have at least two, maybe three. If you can get the whole set, it's so worth it. In fact, it's on the host special this month. So if you want to party this month, you can get the whole box set, the honing tool, the scissors, the whole shebang for like 164, I think. And its regular value is over 500 bucks. So just say it's like a big Macy's food one. Um, nice. There's one more thing I was to tell you. I told you about which one to use. What's the whole special next month? Next month has to do with cookware and rock rocks. Oh, good. So always something that's sixty percent off. And you can work. Some good deal. Oh, good. Die. Die. Any questions on your lives? Can you close the blind a little bit? They're getting a reflection off the. There you go. There we go. Okay, so there's. I'm glad you asked about the knives and the cases because we don't have those anymore. But what I've got now is just as good as if not better. Okay. Um. Did somebody else have something they came specifically to get today? Spiral slicer. Spiral slicer, yeah, you were looking at the catalog. Cool. That's fun. Potatoes first, huh? Okay, so let me start cooking. Um, I gave, well, I kind of gave um, Erica some pieces, and then I said, but I really want to do the chicken bruschetta pasta for you. She says, okay. We also made some potato chips. So let me start off on the chicken. And um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make some pasta, which usually means you got to boil the water and then you get a facial when you empty it out and drain it. <laughs> but we're not going to do that today. I have here... <laughs> I have here the deep covered baker, and this is a piece of stoneware, like um, Erica was saying, she loves. Who's got stoneware? Oh, you know, I do have your. Oh, got it, love it. Got it, love it. Oh, she's got it. Yes, she's got it. It's all about having a good look. Which piece do you use most often? Um, probably the pizza stone. The stoneware, okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I like to call it the baking stone, because that's why it's not just for pizza, but we tend to think that. Well, what do you like to make on it? Everything. Good answer. We didn't plan that. Now, what do you find is different when you make it on your large round stone versus making it on a flat metal or something? Um, just it cooks, I think it cooks more evenly. Yeah. yeah. And it's, um, everything You're okay. Fine. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so, who else? You, which piece do you use most? I have the pizza, but I... Uh oh. Like, okay. The rectangular uh, baker. Rectangular yeah. baker, like the 9 by 13th? Yeah, for your cookies. Okay, for cookies. Mm -hmm. So here's what you'll find with stoneware. And if you look on pages, it's 33 through 35, you'll see all the stoneware. Okay, it's the best thing. Who's, if you are a good cook, you'll love how it works. If you're not a good cook, get stoneware because it really helps. I'm telling you. Um, your stoneware will cook yeah. evenly. Okay, so if you ever burn cookies or biscuits, do it on your stoneware. You're much safer to get even cooking. It also keeps your food warmer longer. And since I got most of the mommies here in the room, we want to have a warm dinner too. But the best thing about stoneware is that it cleans up so easy. And I usually have, I don't have one. The scraper. The scraper, yeah. You're going to get a little brown pan scraper with your stone. That or a good kitchen brush. You want to wait till your stone is room temperature. Don't do it when it's hot because you could warp it. I mean, excuse me, crack it. It can't take massive temperature change. Okay, so if it's hot, hot, don't put cold stuff in it and vice versa. So you see there's a stone for everything. There's a pie plate, there's a loaf pan, there's a mini loaf pan, there's muffin pans. There's something for everything. Um, the microwave egg cooker for anybody that tries to have a good healthy breakfast in the morning and time is your challenge, mm -hmm. check out that microwave egg cooker because you can do scrambled, poached, and fried in the microwave and I'm promising you they do not turn out like rubber eggs. It's so easy to use. Um, we're going to use the deep cover baker right now. So you can see inside it's not glazed. Okay, the glaze is only on the outside, and that's for pretty. Okay, and this size is good because it fits in the microwave. And Erica was a little concerned because her microwave is small inside the fits. So I've got half pound pasta in here, just uh, right out of the box. Oh, excuse me, not half, whole pound. Whole pound. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Broke it in half, put it in here, and then we're going to add um, some chicken broth, and this is going to be cooked in the microwave. Now. This is just one idea of how you can use the deep covered baker. This can be where well, I make some fajitas in here. Oh, yeah. All of your stoneware is good in the microwave as well as in the oven. Not stove top. Yeah. It's just the pasta so far and the chicken. That's it. Oh, and you guys, I'll send you this recipe too. So don't worry about memorizing our right now. Okay, that's it. This is going to go in the microwave. 
for eight minutes. Then I'm going to stir it up and go another eight minutes. Move out of your way. How much chicken broth did you put in there? It's about 32 ounces. It's the same as two cans or one box. Oh. Okay, I'm going to go eight. Okay, on its own. Eight minutes? Eight minutes. Then I'm going to stir it up and go another eight. Now, the best part is when it comes out, I'm not going to have to drain it. Huge. Okay. Now, the chicken, we're going to cook on the grill pan. Anybody use a grill pan? Want it. Want it. Okay, she gets it. Yeah. Oh, look, she is on it. Thank you. Want it. What would you make on this at home? Bacon or chicken breast. Anything with those meats that curl up. Yep. Keep it flat. Good. So a lot of us think dinner ideas for it, but let me tell you, this is good for breakfast time too. Because in the morning, it could be the bacon or sausage mm -hmm. or maybe French toast. Okay, at lunchtime it could be the panini. We all think panini. Oh, we right? Grilled cheese. Yep. Uh, we did a we did mushroom steak the other day with, it, mm -hmm. with the press. Like did you butter and steak. season it with something? I don't know. Might work good. Good but answer. It came out really good. <laughs> yeah. I've like never used it for that for my steak. For your steaks, yeah. Yep. So dinner, we all think dinner. Uh, chicken, pork chops. You can grill your burritos on it. Ooh. You make a burrito and then you put it on and put that and it gets like a grilled. Yeah, tortilla, yeah. I saw a Taco Bell commercial and thought I'd give it a try. <laughs> Good old Taco Bell. Yeah, so this is your everything all day pan. This is not just your dinner kind of thing. Um, so I'm going to put this on here and heat it up. I am going to heat up the grill press for this one. I don't usually do it, but you'll see what I do with the chicken. So let me just put this on. Thank you. And I'm going to turn this up to, right? It's going to go up to medium high right now, and then I'm going to turn it down when the food goes on. Okay, there we go. Now the chicken. We got two good sized chicken breasts here. And what I'm going to do is add a little bit of the garlic canola oil in here. So think about this. When you're grilling outside on a grill, that pan's going to have pretty much the same way that you can do outside that you don't have to go outside. Carefully measure about two teaspoons. There we go. Um, <laughs> very carefully there, Very Diane. carefully, yeah. <laughs> you know, if I'm baking, I'm precise. If it's, you know, cheese or garlic or chocolate, so I'm just going to get that oil all over there. So when you're grilling outside, you don't go put oil on your grill, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't want to just put oil on that pan. Put the oil on your food, and it's going to help it cook better. Now, I need... Now, has anybody ever cooked chicken and it didn't cook evenly throughout? You know, like, this part was too dry and this part. Yeah. Okay. So check this out. If you look at this piece of chicken, this part is a lot thinner than this part, right? Yeah. So that, there's our challenge. This one's over there and this one's not done enough. So, here comes the meat tenderizer. I love it. Yeah, oh, she gets to take it. Now we're Okay. <laughs> this also makes a great weapon if you're traveling in a bad neighborhood. See, it's heavy. Now, okay, I'm on a table, so some things might bounce. So this is also good for taking out your frustration. Yeah, I was like, move it up to the counter. Okay, ready? My husband stresses me out. Yes, don't use it on him. <laughs> but what I'm doing is pounding the chicken out to make it even thickness, and then it's going to cook evenly and faster. Okay, I'm going to pass this around because I want you guys to see how heavy it is. Now, the other side, you see the little prongs? Yeah, look. That's an easy. The other side that has the prongs you can use for tenderizing. Okay, uh, my grandma had a recipe for Swiss steak. You just unscrew it and flip it the other way and screw it back up. Really? Or Swiss steak. Swiss steaks, yeah. Now, I need to season my chicken. So, I'm going to use... Full time. Let me tell you, over here I've got a whole bunch of our Pamper Chef rubs. There are a ton of flavors, and I've labeled them all. You guys are welcome to open, sniff, taste, whatever you want. Um, earlier this year, I had a big birthday with a zero in it, and so I was on a health trip to lose some weight. And so from January to May, there was like three glasses of wine in my entire life. Over those five, I don't look, she's like, no, I'm sad. <laughs> but I was really about being healthy and, you know, changing some things up, and I did it. I dropped 40 pounds. Nice. One of the ways was lots of protein, right? So it was a lot of chicken, a lot of fish, a lot of veggies, no alcohol, um, no carbs. But, okay, so you can't have chicken and fish every day, you're going to get bored. But I basically had 20 different ways to make my chicken and fish because if I just grabbed a different flavor, it was not the same old chicken. 
So some of the ones that I love, 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 love. Okay, smoky apple wood. I'm gonna smell that. Pass smoky apple wood. What do you cook with it? Chicken. chicken. Uh, yeah, burgers. That's good on burgers too. Okay, another one. Chili lime. Oh, yeah. I like chili lime. This is really good on your burgers. fish. Um, and when I make fresh salsa, especially with the manual food processor, I throw some of that in. Okay. Um, well, there's so many. Citrus and basil, uh, ginger and citrus. I'm not a big ginger fan, but let me tell you, this on fish good, like, is amazing. Yeah, there you go. So, and you guys are welcome to clap and so, I mean, there's Greek, there's lemon pepper, there's maple herb. It's great on yeah, you're good. Yeah. You're fine. <laughs> We're going to edit it. So. <laughs> now, for this recipe, I'm going to actually mix. I'm going to use the sweet basil and the garlic and herb. This is what I'm going to use Thanks. on our chicken to season it up. Which one are you going to use? I'm going to use a combo, garlic and herb and sweet basil. Okay? So now I'm going to come over and put the chicken on. And I'm just going to sprinkle the seasoning on until it covers it. I'm not measuring it. You just want, like, no makeup box left, okay? So here we go. Okay, so we're going to over. Yeah. Now the grill is hot. The grill pan is hot. And I need one more hand. And throw these out here. Ooh, light. I'm going to use the tongs. Those tongs have their own. Happy barbecue. I don't have those tongs. Tell us, tell me why you love them. Okay, just throw it on a bunch of seasoning. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, over. What did you I'm using a combo of the sweet basil, make it like an Italian flavor, and then the garlic and herb. And this is going to cook so fast. Do you feel that way when you taste your food? Okay, good. probably good. I like I do that. Like when I'm tasting me, I'm like, I'm going to have too much. So now, that chicken is cooking on its own. And it's probably nice and thin. Okay. Now, the tongs, the cup, if you have, you can love them. Let me show you how they work. This is called a, a gravity lock. Right? So when you're pointing them downward, watch the lock right here. And you pinch them together. Okay? They open. Point them upwards, watch the lock. Pinch them together, and they close. One hand it. Just wash your face.
It's so funny because I was uh, doing a party one time and there's one of the gals that shows looking in the catalog and she goes, how do I make my chicken look like this? You know, the paper with the herbs and rubs. I said, just hold on, I'm going to show you exactly how. So there you go. So it's been on there just about three minutes, but because the pan was hot and the press was hot, it's cooking nice and fast. So your chicken can really be done in about ten minutes. Now, while that's finishing off, I'm going to make the sauce for the pasta. And this is going to be a fresh sauce, a nice, healthy idea. This is the um, manual food processor. And this comes with an amazing recipe for fresh salsa. Oh, I almost forgot. Let me tell you this. This little book that I have here, I'm going to pass this around. Now, I know some of you already have some of these products at home. And if you do, and you don't have the cookbook that's in here, tell me and I will email it to you. I've got to make a note on my computer because I'll forget. If any of you buy any of these products today, I'm going to email you the cookbook that's in here. This is cookbooks that are put together by the consultants. Because we want you guys to have a ton of recipes for anything you want. So the barbecue pizza pan, the deep covered baker, the brownie pan is not just for brownies. Uh, Gillette's mini muffin pan, manual food processor, or the tricycle. Now, let me tell you, the deep cover paper has about 150 recipes. And just to give you some ideas, here is a meatloaf. Ooh, and a cooked jambalaya. Here is a... Uh, oh, this is to do a 10-minute pork tenderloin, and then a bunch of variations. How many minutes? 10 minutes. This is the microwave. Wow. It's good. Here is curry chicken noodle soup. Uh, wait, let me get to the desserts. Mexican chocolate cake. Lemon cherry crumble. So, lots of ideas, and I will email you all these ideas if you get your deep covered baker. Now, in the catalog, you'll see there's a baby version. That's a 12 cup set, the one that's in there. It's a 12 cup capacity. There's a baby one that's six cups. It's called the round covered baker. Okay, if you get one of those, half the capacity. Okay. So let me pass this around. I want you guys to have lots of ideas for anything you're going to use. Okay, back to the manual food processor. And this is the same type of setup like your um, salad and berry spinner that you have alone. So this piece, the blades, and this piece, the, the cup, can go in the dishwasher. The handle does not. Okay. Um, how many of you guys have a food chopper already? Oh, oh look at you guys. I love it. I love it. Oh, yeah. 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 I love it first. Wow. Give her what you I just saved her earlier. <laughs> so what's the food chopper is great. It holds about one pound, excuse me, one cup of food. This one holds three cups. With this one, you are uh, chopping and combining at the same time. Okay, I got my timing down. I'm just going to turn this off and let it sit. Trust me. So I'm going to use this to make the sauce. And what happens is like, how did that go? Chopper. Done. So, I'm going to start off with fresh basil and lots of fresh basil. This sauce is really healthy because we're not cooking the olive oil, and you know the olive oil is healthier for you when you're not cooking it. Okay, that's in. Now, I'm going to use this a little bit just to get it down because it's got much larger capacity once I chop it's going to go down. Okay. Now, we're going to add some garlic. And I got a couple of tools that do garlic. How many of you guys have one of these? We all said it. She said it. So, you know this is great because you can put the um, garlic in here with the peel. Yep. Press it through. Juice in the pulp of out. Peel stays in. Since you all have this. Oh, now did you guys know stuff like this? Did somebody say they lost it? Yeah, actually, I just forgot my actual yeah. part. So this is on the replacement parts order. If you ever have a problem with the camera check product, first off, you know there's a warranty. But when stuff like this like goes down to disposal too many times, call me. We can get these on the replacement parts. Things a couple bucks. So I'm going to show off a different product for you guys. This is the garlic peeler and the garlic slicer. Have it, love it. Have it, love it. Oh, but it's, I've never seen it. I've never okay. seen this one. Maybe you do. So here's what you do. You put your garlic clove in. This is kind of like and oh, fair. 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 Okay, watch. Make your garlic. Oh, I get it. I get it. Oh, I got it. 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 I
Himalayan sea, and sea salt. It's a mixture. So the little pink is the Himalayan salt. And you know, because this is the rock salt, it's not processed. And it's the processing that usually makes it bad for us. Okay. So it's the brighter stuff. <laughs> okay, now, any of you guys have wrist issues? If this is uncomfortable, go the other way. I find when I'm doing this side, I don't bend my wrist as much. So whatever you're comfortable with, right hand, left hand. Anybody here left hand? Me. Maybe. <laughs> 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 And this is it for our sauce. Wait till you see how the flavor comes together. Okay, now that chicken is done. The pasta is done. I just want this to get a little better. I'll tell you what. Who wants to help? Oh, I have some. Hey, come on up. I'm going to have you press a little more while I go grab the pasta and the chicken. How much longer does it need? Just about 20 minutes. 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Not right. How's that feel? Easy? Easy, yeah. Good. It's just like the salad's better. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so let's do the thing if you pull it down, it doesn't just keep It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. The salad, I heard the sal salad's better gets up to like 35 miles an hour, which is kind of crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get our chicken out into our, deep, into our uh, plastic uh, batter bowl here. Yes. 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 <laughs> Okay. You guys see how pretty the chicken turns out? And watch this. There's juice in here. So I'm just going to take the juice from the pan and pour it right in. Okay, because your chicken can't be too juicy, right? So now I need to cut it up. Let's see how's that look. Take the Sauce is done. Thank you. She gets two tickets for helping with the sauce. Now we need to cut the chicken up. And you know what usually happens? It's hot. We're burning our hands. We're trying to do it all fast. Yeah. Have it. Love That's, it. Ah, she said it first. Oh, I love it. Love it. Want it. Love it. Want it. She gets one. Yeah, love it. Want it. These oh, are called salad those. choppers, and they're oh, not just for salad. Too, so. Now, usually you think, oh, these are scissors, right? Oh, You're gonna cut like this. Oh, wow. I'm actually gonna hold them backwards oh, okay. and go in. <laughs> So that's why they need us. Throw your um, lettuce in the bowl, throw your carrots, throw your tomatoes, cucumbers, anything you need to get that. Love it. Oh my god. I'm gonna try to the first person that finds the kitchen shoes and says the page gets a ticket. You're good. Who got it? 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 She's, she's going to get the ticket out. She's already. Page 25. Yay. All right. Actually, I have. Okay, so now I have. Are you okay? Red and chicken. Oh my god. Okay, you can do that. I want to see that. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Easy peasy, yeah. Uh, your pork tenderloin, you can do that too. Okay, get in there. It's nice and sharp. And their dishwasher safe. You got to do the dishes. I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that. Okay. Now it all comes together. So, let me move this out of the way. And then, before I'm done, I have to take out the rock props, the new kid on the block. Okay, so let me go grab. Okay, let's get the pot.